Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Ellery Schlingman, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's MCAT practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz found in lesson one of the behavioral science two module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Because this question is asking about um, research that was done on attitudes about the public or attitudes of the public, we are talking about the elaboration likelihood model of persuasion. Now in this model, we have three types of characteristics that we're gonna be looking at and trying to decipher between. The first are target characteristics. So these characteristics are gonna be characteristics of the audience. So pre-existing attitudes, the demographics of the audience, anything that is involved with who is hearing the message. The second set of characteristics has to do with the source. So the person who is delivering the message. So that could be the person's credentials, their physical appearance, or anything to do with the deliverer of the message. Third is the message itself. So the arguments that it contains and how credible the, that argument seems to the target audience. Now, if we go back to our question, then we can look at what different types of characteristics are at play. So at first we see that there's a subset of participants in the study report being most impressed by the substantial improvements made by other countries after similar policy changes. So we'll underline that, similar policy changes. And then another subset reported that they felt that they should support those new policies because it was simply the ethical thing to do. So in this first subset of participants, we have a message characteristic because they were impressed by the improvements presented to them in the research, right? The second subset has to do with the personal feelings of the target audience. So that is what we would consider a target characteristic. So if we put these two together, we have the first subset is convinced by the message and the second subset has to do with their personal ethical beliefs. So the correct answer for this question would be D, message and target characteristics. If you enjoyed today's MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. If you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutor tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon and we'll see you next time.